Miami Dolphins offensive line coach Lemuel Jean-Pierre is just as curious about who plays left tackle for the Miami Dolphins in Sunday's season opener against the New England Patriots as you are. Jean-Pierre is heading into this week's practices still unsure about how he's going to replace Austin Jackson, who was placed on the COVID-19 reserve list Monday after producing a positive test. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I'm not sure what's happening later in the week, but I've always tried to be that coach that drills and moves guys around," Jean-Pierre said on Tuesday. We'll always put the best five out there and they'll be a cohesive unit that plays together. Jean-Pierre said there's still a chance Jackson gets cleared to return, but it is a remote one since he'd need to produce two negative tests 24 hours apart. However, that can be done before Saturday. Jean-Pierre mentioned Jesse Davis, Liam Eichenberg, Greg Little, and even starting center Michael Deiter as possible replacements for Jackson, a 2021st round pick who played 843 snaps in 13 games at left tackle for the Dolphins last season. Jean-Pierre explained that Eichenberg didn't work at left tackle during the team's organized team activities, training camp or preseason because he'd started 36 games at that spot during his collegiate career at Notre Dame, and the Dolphins were more focused with teaching the rookie how to play spots he was unfamiliar with like left guard and right tackle. He has a grasp of football and his IQ is pretty impressive, Jean-Pierre said about Eichenberg, who was a contender to start at both left guard and right tackle before shoulder and leg injuries derailed his preseason. Put that with the work he puts in, which is amazing. Jean-Pierre is certain getting Eichenberg comfortable at left tackle again would be just like riding a bike because of how technically sound he is as a player. He also pointed out that Deiter filled in at left tackle for portions of a 2019 loss to Dallas his rookie season, with limited practice at that spot, and held his own against Robert Quinn. It's a stretch to conclude that Miami will be moving Deiter, the team's new starting center to left tackle, but not out of the realm of possibilities because of Brian Flores' edict of playing the best five offensive linemen, regardless of position. That means if Greg Mance is in the top five based on practice performance this week, Jean-Pierre would have to figure out how to make it work, and that might mean using Mance at center or guard, and moving someone else to left tackle. The easiest approach would be to put the team's most seasoned offensive lineman, Jesse Davis, at left tackle. He actually played that position for half a season in 2019. However, Davis is handling an even more critical role at right tackle because he's responsible for protecting Tua Tungavailoa's blindside. Since Tungavailoa is a left-handed quarterback, he'll have his back turned to the right tackle on most plays, whereas a right-handed quarterback would have his back turned to the left tackle. Those things are hard, Davis said about a possible switch from right tackle to left tackle. I've done it a few times, so it's nothing I'm going to get super anxious about. It's just all about preparation. The Dolphins traded a 2022 seventh-round pick to Carolina to acquire little for these exact situations, when injuries, suspensions or COVID-19 depletes the unit, and someone with some skill and athleticism has to fill in as a starter. Little's first two NFL seasons were underwhelming after the Panthers used an early second-round pick on him in the 2019 draft. Carolina traded up 10 spots to acquire the former Ole Miss standout. It was a move that cost the Panthers their second-round pick plus a third-rounder, but injuries have stalled his career. The 6'5", 310-pound Little played 14 games the past two seasons with only six starts. His rookie season was marred by two concussions and an ankle injury that eventually landed him on injured reserve. He played only 20% of Carolina's snaps in 2019 and 13% last year. He works hard and goes fast, Jean-Pierre said. He's learned and is caught up. He had carryover and his training from high school and college is showing.